What is up guys, it's Mike. Welcome back to an all new video. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I recently harvested my first deer of the season and I'm as hands-on with the entire process as possible, which means obviously shooting, gutting, skinning, quartering, and the final step in the puzzle, which is the butchering. I got a request last year to do a butchering video. I figured now that I have a fresh kill, we're going to get the cameras set up. This isn't gonna be anything fancy. I'm not a professional butcher. This is what I do for myself. I go through the different cuts and how I like to prepare them. So uh, this should be fun. It's gonna be something new and uh, interesting. So my tool setup is pretty simple. I have one boning knife. This is a Vic Victrinox and it's got some uh, flex in it. I'm using the Bubba blade. This has a lot of flex in it too. This is more of a staking knife for big cuts. I have a bone saw to get through the uh, obviously the bones and such. This is a sharpener, comes with most hunting kits or butchering kits. So what I do when I break down a deer is I'll take the pieces that I quarter and put them in black plastic garbage bags and bring them home and put them in the refrigerator to keep them cold. Right now we have one of the back straps. What I'll do here is I'll just wipe it down with a paper towel. For the back straps, I like to make steaks out of the whole thing and I usually will cut about that size is a nice steak. And um, yeah, just run down the, uh, the whole thing and just stake it out. This is why I like the Bubba blade, because it's a nice big knife and it's easy, easy to uh, cut that out. With the small stuff like this is I'll make a little grind pile Toss that aside. Small cuts like this where it's still good, I will take like this and save them for bacon wrappers, which is basically just marinate it, um, wrap it in a uh, slice of bacon, toothpick, and got yourself some awesome treats. You can clean up some of this if you want. That's one back strap cut into nice steaks right there. And you can see there's not any fat or anything on there. I like to take that extra time just to clean them up. So it's the same process for this. Try to wipe down any excess gunk. Flip it over, do the same. And you can cut these into whatever size steaks you prefer. I just think that something around that size is, uh, it's enough to enjoy it's not too thin, not too thick, and you get a lot of steaks out of your deer. I also can't recommend this bubble blade enough. This thing has been a game changer as far as butchering goes. Um, it's The blade stays super sharp. It's a nice size. It has a nice handle where you could uh, get a grip. It's The rubber on here doesn't get slippery when it's wet. There's different positions you can put if you want to hold it like this you can hold it like that it's got a trigger area here and there you have it guys that is a plate of all backstrap he wasn't huge and you can see how many steaks you can get out of just the uh just the backstrap alone so these here are the tenderloins these are not the cleanest tenderloins but we're going to work with them and we're going to save what we can. We're just gonna trim these up, get rid of all the gross fat, all this stuff. What I'll do is I'll take out any trauma, which is like stuff like this. I'll try to cut that off. So that one there is cleaned up as nice as it could be. So this one here is not as bad. So that's it. All right, so here we have a shoulder and this cut you can do a lot with. I usually just start by trying
trying to trim off whatever stuff I can get off of there. Give it a wipe down, get off as much of that hair and uh, moisture as you can. You'll have a bone right on this piece that you can feel right here. It runs along that and I'll take my knife right along the edge of the bone. You'll hear it scrape and follow that straight down. And then you can put your hand in there and you'll see that you're right at the right at the edge of that bone there, that little seam. And then go on to the other side, work the knife along that side of the bone. You can see that it's opened up. And then what I'll do is I'll just work my knife with the tip. You can cut that whole piece off if you want. Pulling and then cutting. So when you're done, you'll have your shoulder like this. And I just separate that front part right here and then you have another part of your shoulder so I'll clean this up too but that's most of the shoulder right here and with this shank piece I like to just try to get the knife right along the bone and just run it straight down So here's the big boy right here. We got our hind quarter, and this is where you get a lot of stakes. Um, because this was a younger deer, I'm gonna stake out as much of this as possible. If you look at this cut of meat, you can kind of see natural seams that go all throughout. And just carefully work with your finger. And you tip your knife just like this to get that layer out. Once you open this up, you'll see the whole interior is all exposed. And you just work that work that tissue out. And you'll actually separate all the muscles of the rear leg, just like this. Just... Here's one muscle. There's another one. That one kind of got hacked. ball it's gonna be crowned Wear this off. Make some nice, nice cuts like that. Beautiful stakes. 
and I'll do the same thing as I do with the back strap. Look at those. If your mouth's not watering now, there's something wrong. And then once you get to small pieces like this, just trim off the garbage. And I like to make these into bacon wrappers. Cut them into little cubes, marinate them, dry rub them, whatever you want. Wrap them in bacon, throw them on the grill. Delicious. Gorgeous cut to meat out of the back. And uh, so basically, I'll do that with any parts of the back that I can that looks like good steak meat. Anything else that looks a little iffy goes into the grinding pile. Look at how nice that meat is. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I'm gonna finish cutting this up. The process is the exact same for the other leg. You just follow that seam, work the tip of your knife nice and carefully, separate everything. My rule of thumb for the back quarters is basically if it could make good steaks, make good steaks out of it. If you can't make good steaks, cut them up into pieces like this and use them for bacon wrappers. Butchering a deer is not hard. It is uh, definitely overwhelming at first. I'm able to take an animal break it down and make it table fair. And that's honestly all I care about. It doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to taste good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope some of you guys found it a little bit helpful. All you really need are a couple of nice sharp knives, a space to work, it's really not that hard. It is enjoyable. As much as I can get my hands on, I'm gonna get my hands on and I'm gonna take care of it myself. That's gonna wrap up the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I will have more hunting stuff coming up soon, hopefully. I'll link the hunt of this deer that I harvested at the end of this. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there and have a good season.